What is that object? It is an object of thought. I would like an instrument by which I can manipulate that object of thought. Now, it's not like drawing. Drawing is effectively control, controlling something to be able to draw something. What I would like is for the object of thought to be fluid. Not quite like that, and as you can see, it's a living thing. This thing is moving slightly. It happens to be quite stable, and therefore I can move it around. I want a computer tool or instrument so I can play with these mental objects in the same way, with the same flexibility that I play with words and concepts. Like that. But I want to have some quality of, we call it control, it's like putting your hand in a stream of water. It's not really control, it's a matter of manipulation of a dynamic thing. That is too much. This is now something interesting. I can see several aspects to this, and I would like to move them around with some quality of sensitivity. Incredible. Does that look like some kind of interaction of thoughts or electrons or something or other around different molecules? Is that like a molecule thing going on there? What is going on there? And look at that strange aspect. One of those spheres has a... Oh, I see. I think that's that line, uh, almost like an arctic circle or something, is because it's interacting with another sphere. And so it's the surface. That's right. It's the surface. It's two bubbles meet. Uh, interesting. And every time we introduce a kind of noise, we get a completely different pattern. In it's a self source. Incredible. Incredible? And incredible. Fluctuations, the palpitations. The... Incredible. I would play with something like that. Right, but give me some kind of being able to manipulate it in a way which doesn't involve just one button. Uh, if there's any programs out there that are actually capable of this and would be interested in doing this, please get in contact with Happy Sea Richard.